Hello everyone, Morp here, and how is it going? So it's double XP weekend, and I had the free account that came with the Amazon Prime from when the TV show came out, and I've been kind of saving it, didn't know what I really was going to do with it. So once I heard that double XP weekend was coming, I thought, you know what would be really fun if I try to do like a power level type of thing with uh, these dudes. So I was messing around on the stream a little bit ago, and uh, I decided to go and see how fast I can actually get to level 100. And um, this is more of practice, but uh, I was doing it from level 2 at start, and then I thought on this one I'd start at level 20. And uh, so basically the gist of my method that I was using here is that I'm going to be going on a private team with some friends, and um, the other three people that are going to be in the team have already completed expeditions. So Basically, I'm going to join the team, and um, each one of the three people are going to load in their expedition and um, go and immediately click it. And I wanted to see how far I can actually get from right out of the vault to uh, what ends up being level 34, which I like it was uh, maybe about five minutes. But anywho, um, I got here on the private server, so I went and I buffed up. I'm basically sitting here waiting for to get the... Uh, the expedition team bonus up to four so here I am getting all of the materials and stuff that I'm gonna get I got a full set of level one unyielding armor if anyone was around from my very first video on this channel was me uh, having a level two character and going to rusty pick and turning in the the script to get uh, a level one unyielding set and now I finally get to use it so anyway, we got our first little turn in, and that put me up to level 26, or 25. So one turn in, got the level 25, and here we are on the second one. I'm gonna go get a turn in again. This one got me to level 30, and so basically five per. And now on this last one, I don't get exactly to 35, but I get like real close. I think after I come out of here, I shoot, the very first thing I shoot, I get to level 35. I'm like right smack there. So anyway, now we're going to go ahead and set up the base over here at West Deck, and this is where the real fun begins. So now I am using, uh, right here at the start, I'm just using a level 25 um, submachine gun. Just a one star, basically. Uh, here a little bit later in the video, I'll show all of the stuff that I had done for this. Uh, basically what I did for this whole little testing thing, I got a level 15, a level 25, and a level 35 submachine gun. Uh, six of them and I just kept rolling them until I got three instigating and three bloodied just to kind of go and mess around um, but anywho so here's here's what I'm doing once we get started here I wanted to get the cards that are really important so I got the demolition expert uh, it's gonna be a little while until I get the grenadier so one of the friends is actually sharing the grenadier the other friend is sharing the adrenaline those are really the only three cards that are really needed for this and I also will have a link in the description to the uh, Level Up Crazy Fast video I did a couple weeks ago. So here's that level one gun that we have. And, uh, and I get my nuclear grenades. I actually do mess up in here for the first couple grenades that I throw. Throw into some regular ones. And I was in here and I was trying the Mr. West Tech method. I, I, in all honesty, I didn't, only, didn't watch the video very well or whatever. But I, I couldn't get it to work every time that I would... Uh, go in there and switch the leader and come back in and nothing would have been reset but anywho so here we are inside this is my very first time coming in here on the character so uh this one i'm not really getting all that great experience um here i stop every once in a while to kind of add new little cards here but i'm going and doing the quest learn the secrets of west deck so that i can um actually be able to reset this so coming through here pew pew everything's pretty much normal here I want to do the quest to get the, the four little spots to go. I think during this process, I, I think I get up to like level 40. Yeah, here I'm level 40 now. Now I learned the secrets, and there we go. I'm going to go downstairs to go and see if the, if the reset work. worked. And I wanted to do like one full clear before I went back upstairs, um, back up to the base. Um, so this whole run took about... Um, it was about it was about 43 minutes of actual video footage, but there was there was a big healthy chunk of time that I was kind of sitting there um, doing nothing, and I edited out like a four minutes of uh, me getting coffee ready and stuff. Um, it worked out to about 47 minutes, and obviously I wasn't going to do a 47-minute video, so I spiced out little important spots, and then I 
did a lot of speeding up in here. Uh, but I, wa I did want to show it kind of in real time of um, basically everything here. And in all honesty, I could have really whittled this down a lot. I wasted so much time here um, just working on cards because it was already working. You know, all I really needed to do was go and keep on running over and over and over. I bet I could have got to level 100 in like 25 minutes or something. Um, well, anyway, so now that we got our very first run here, when everything should be up to the uh, 4,000 experience per kill, so now is when I officially uh, get all buffed up. So this is basically when the run starts. And here, here's me trying to, this uh, Mr. West Tech method. Uh, where, you know, I'd go in and the friend would be the leader and then I'd go switch the leader back and forth. But I kept doing it and I kept going back in and, like, nothing would be reset. Um, so, I, I mean, I gave up after, like, one time of it not doing it and I just went back to what I did in that original video. I posted uh, the uh, Level Up Crazy Fast one. I'm just going downstairs and back up. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty, you know, it was me going down there and it wasn't working. And I did go downstairs and was able to reset it here so yeah at this point everything just starts to really uh go quick and uh so yeah this is uh really fun i bet i really could have whittled this down to a, a lot a lot more efficient um it's definitely a lot of fun though so yeah still got a couple days left of double xp weekend and at this brand new account i'll probably mess around with him for a little bit here and uh let's see pretty soon here i do pop up video little uh little other screen kind of showing the extra stuff that we're doing oh yeah now we finally got the adrenaline here so i got the adrenaline all pop popped up and uh so now i don't need need the friends to to share anything uh, now the only thing that the friends are giving me while being in there is just the the uh, extra the extra four points from being in a casual team so yeah this is rock and rolling I couldn't do messing around. Yeah, most most of this time is wasted just uh, sitting there messing with cards. I could have got up to like level 300 or 400 or whatever and then I've been done with it and then, you know, had a way a lot more points to kind of mess around with. But, uh, so yeah. Let's see, I believe it's coming up pretty soon here. Where I, uh, I think of this next little wave I... I show all the different cards that I was showing. But yeah, the, the simple gist of this method here, um, you know, as long as you're in a team and you're getting the casual bonus and you are the team leader, uh, you can be going in and out and having it reset in solo. And if you do it like the Mr. West type method and having somebody there to switch leader back and forth, it seems like it would be way more efficient. And I'll have to try it. Um, once I get a little bit more practice on it, I, I can't mess it up. I, every time I would do it, it, they wouldn't have been reset. And uh, oh, I, I was totally uh, already buffed up here, but I went ahead and did it kind of out of out of habit from that last little farm and get those refreshed. So we got our little buffs uh, fully going. And uh, oh yeah, at this point is uh, when I forgot that I had the full set of of unyielding intelligence like the level level 50 stuff and so now this will actually put me up to 71 or 74 intelligence i believe here yeah 74 so now I, this is when everything really starts to speed up and uh but yeah so the uh, the idea here was to to start at level two and um kind of see how long i could do it solo and so here are the guns that i had started with I had the, the level 15, 25, and 35 submachine guns to get the 40% armor pen. And I have a full set of level 1 unyielding set. And then once I hit level 50, I have the uh, level level 50 and 45 pieces. Uh, the third stars really don't matter. It's just looking for the intel unyielding intelligence. And I did set up the alt with the shielded binding under armor for three more. They have the uh, brain bombs and the cranberry relish. And I did set them up with the kind of the standard commando herbivore mutation rock and roll. So here we are. This was uh, this was like right about two, 42 minutes in. I actually hit level 100, but I was uh, by the time I had it showed on the screen, I think I'm actually like 104 right now after this next grenade. And uh, rock and roll. 
Well, I hope this little bit of tips and stuff help you. If you guys do like this kind of content, definitely check out Angry Turtle and check out uh, Mr. Westek. They uh, are great resources on leveling up stuff and all this little stuff. But I really had a lot of fun doing this, and I will be streaming on Twitch and YouTube for the rest of uh, this Double XP weekend. I also stream often as well if you guys want to come and hang out. We also have a link down in our Discord. And uh, yeah, there's a link here to the full guide explaining fully of what I'm doing in here for, I guess, the method that I'm using. And uh, yeah, rock and roll, guys. We'll see you guys out in the wasteland.